So let's talk about system administration. This is really key. You, you saw me log in with my name and, and my password, but what's really important is, is, is that you have the ability to secure the console um, and limit folks' ability to get into the system. And more importantly, if they're into the system, limit or only give them the ability to see certain things or do certain functions. So first thing I wanna cover is roles. Under roles, we have predefined roles. We have administrator roles, we have an operator role, and we have a service provider role. So under administrator role, if I click on view the role, you'll see that this individual, being myself, has edit rights to everything. So I can view, I can, I can do anything I want with the system because I'm the administrator. Under operator, if you look at it, you'll see that the operator only can view specific things and they can edit specific things. So for this instance, for instance, a manual test, they can run a manual test because obviously we want an operator to be able to do a test if they need to because they failed. Um, but they can only view things, they can't change programming. So if you have an operator at the store, you can assign them credentials to log in. And when they log into the system, they're only, they only can utilize those functionalities. Service providers, again, if you have a service provider uh, defined, you want those service providers to be able to get into the system, change programming, be able to modify uh, reports and things like that for, to help you out with, with managing your system. And then we have one that's called custom reports. You can create a, a new role by simply creating a new role you can give it a name, you can call it a inspector. And then you can actually provide, you can go ahead and go down the different aspects of the system and give them access rights. So for instance, test results, we'd only want them to view it. We'd only want them to be able to see the, the, the test, the rate test, or the history. Uh, you know, for instance, for line leak, we'd want them only to see the test results for line leak. So if I do that and I save that, now that individual or inspector has only those access rights to look at and view that particular report, which is great. So keep in mind, this is important to keep your system secure and more importantly, under control so no one's modifying any of the setups. 